This is your Transformers 96 here with another video, and I'm going to be talking about some newly shown items from Marvel Legends. This time it is the Endgame series, just kind of another update of the figures and getting a better look at them outside of package. Um, first off, before I go into the figures, just want to say, sorry if I sound weird, I've been sick, and uh, it's affecting my voice. So, sorry if I don't sound great. But anyway, let's get into this. Uh, so, we've, I've talked about these characters and figures before, um, but we had really bad images to begin with, and then we got some good in-package images, and now we have some good out of package images uh, so we can uh, talk about them and we also get a better idea of some, some of the scale elements with them so let's start off um, <coughs> excuse me let's start off with the heroes uh, we've got Captain America and uh, Ronan um, or Hawkeye uh, Captain America here like I like the suit I think the suit does have a nice slickness too especially in the legs the legs really line up well they look good um, they look better than normal Captain America legs in my opinion I just uh, I like I like the design of the silver how it starts at the thighs and then it kind of swoops to the side and then comes back uh, for the shins I think it looks pretty nice um, my only issue is there's not a whole lot of contouring in his torso it's just kind of a it's very cam like um just and you can even see it with the captain america standing next to him but his torso just really goes down uh while normal captain america and just most superhero body types comics or movies just kind of start uh, to the waist and they go up they get wider as they go up it shows more bulk um, but when it's all just kind of like can like it just looks a little weird so I wish that they had a little bit more definition there in the torso um, the arms look pretty nice I believe that he's got a fist here, and then this is an open hand for holding the shield, of course. Uh, he looks, it looks strange to me with seeing him in a suit like this and having the helmet not match. Um, but, you know, that's kind of how everybody is, because everybody's wearing the suit. And, like, Ant-Man, I think, matches the suit pretty nicely, his helmet. But uh, we do see in that two-pack that we're going to get with... Um, Hawkeye and, and Black Widow and interchangeable heads that there's just an Iron Man helmet that comes with it So I guess Iron Man is just gonna have his helmet on on top of the suit So it just it looks weird not having the heads like match the body um, But if they're all like that then it won't look so bad But just on its own it looks a little strange as far as the head sculpt it doesn't look amazing Sometimes Captain America head sculpts are great um, Like I believe that this is the great one that this is the one that came with uh, Crossbones because that's just a fantastic head sculpt and as you can see like this one looks a lot more realistic than this one um it might just be a bad angle too but he's he's got a bit of a fatter type of looking uh, a chin and it's just it's not it's not a flattering angle and i think just the sculpt in general isn't that great it's nothing horrible it's not like the the um infinity war one which really didn't look good uh this this just doesn't look great you know it would have been nice if he came with an unhelmeted head sculpt as well especially since this captain america doesn't come with a build a figure piece <clears throat> then we have uh, ronin here Hawkeye, um, he's looking interesting. I actually, I, I do like the fact that it's basically a completely new sculpt, um, and I like the line work in his legs and the arms. I think that looks quite nice. Um, my only issue is that he has, he could have a bit of the issue that this, uh, that Talos the scroll has, um, where because he has just like a rubber suit on top of the body, it creates like a too bulky, um, like his his arms don't seem like they're the same bulkiness as his as his torso, because uh, this is all supposed to be a jacket, and in, instead of having it all a rubber piece or all plastic, it's you know plastic arms and legs with a rubber chest. It just doesn't it doesn't feel like it matches as strongly as it could, which is unfortunate. The head sculpt looks fine. I don't see anything special, but I don't see anything bad with it. And uh, I believe it comes with an interchangeable, um, you know, I've got, hold on, this is from my last video. Oh, no, he doesn't come with an interchangeable head. That's actually disappointing. Um, so that's unfortunate. I would have liked an interchangeable head, um, but maybe for people who aren't familiar with the comics, they're trying to hold a bit of the mystery there. I don't know. But uh, but overall, I think that uh, the figure looks pretty decent. It, it does look nice. I will say we have had better pictures of the package images as well, and we can see that this is him throwing, like, uh, those uh, throwing stars. So... Because uh, I was unsure of what that was up there uh, when I made my last video. But that is like throwing stars. Um, now, uh, Ebony Maw, we've seen out of package before, so there's not a whole lot to talk about with him. But it's nice to see him with some of the other um, Black Order members. It's going to be nice to complete the Black Order team. Uh, but Thanos is the one I'm more interested in. It looks like he's about the same scale as the other Thanos, the last Build-A-Figure Thanos. Uh, so that's, you know, obviously good um it shouldn't be any smaller or bigger basically uh, i will say that the face sculpt i got a lot of people like when i said that i mentioned that i like the face sculpt i got a lot of people just complaining that it's the same head sculpt as this one but with a helmet on um personally i don't think it's that bad i think that uh 
it is it is 100% a new sculpt. It's not like they just took the old head sculpt and threw a helmet on it. It's a new sculpt. Now, it's a very similar expression, don't get me wrong, but it is the same sculpt, um, and I, I like it. I just, I like the expressive, angry head sculpts. Uh, we've gotten, we've got smiling ones from him before, and we've got a serious one from him before, so, I, you know, my favorite out of all of them is the angry one, so I much prefer that we get another angry one than any of the others. Um, just because we've had the, we've had the the just serious faces, and we've had the smiling ones way more than we get of the uh, the angry ones, and I prefer the angry ones. So that I like it. I think it's nice. Um, the arms. They look like they are, this looks like a completely new figure. The only place where it could be reused is from the elbow down. It looks exactly the same as the original uh, Thanos. Um, and obviously this is the Thanos that came in the three pack, so he has the open hand. But the original Thanos, the Build-A-Figure Thanos for Infinity War, came with a fist too. So it looks identical. It even has that same kind of darker color scheme that the original Build-A-Figure Thanos had, which I was never a fan of. I preferred the lighter tone that they went with for the uh, three pack one. I think it just looks better. So I'm disappointed that they're going back with the older style where it's very dark especially since it like since it's so dark it really doesn't match his costume i would have preferred it to be uh dark or lighter uh just i think it looks better in general i think it's more accurate and i think it would have matched his armor um the rest of the figure does look very nice though i really do like it uh it looks like this is a nice ab crunch just from the look of things i think that that's going to be a really nicely articulated ab crunch and i think it should go much further than this one um i might be wrong on that but i'm really hoping that that's the case it looks like it is to me uh as far as the knees it's hard to tell the articulation arms look about the same articulated as the original one um and I really am excited to get an armored version of Thanos. I think it'll be cool. Uh, and his weapon accessory does look quite nice. Although it's done in a very standard gray, uh, it looks a little toyish, but I do like the fact that you get the weapon. Um, just because we haven't really had Thanos with a weapon before, I think it's cool. So yeah, so overall there's my thoughts on the kind of just out of picture, out of package images of these new Infinity, uh, sorry, Endgame figures uh, featuring Thanos, Ebony Maw, Captain America, and Ronin slash Hawkeye. Let me know what you guys think of them, and thanks so much for watching.